if something is the most important event in the year or month in the year that we will be speaking in advance regarding the preparation of the month of Ramadan. Subhanallah. To prepare for the month of Ramadan, you need to start off by thinking about what it is, how blessed the month is. It's the month of fasting. It's the month of the Quran. It's the month of the sacrifices made by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his companions. It's a month of forgiveness and softening, seeking forgiveness from Allah and forgiving others. If you have not softened your heart prior to Ramadan, how are you going to be able to dig through the soil of that heart in order to sow the seed of the fruit that you would love to nurture within that heart? When you have not cultivated, you will not be able to sow. You will not be able to reap anything because you would not have sown. So start softening the land from now. Start digging, sow your seeds. When Ramadan comes, we will water the seeds. Seedlings will grow into fruit. And on the day of Eid, we will pick from that fruit and we will declare the greatness of Allah. That day of Eid is in order for us to realize we've completed the prescription and we will declare the greatness of Allah because of his guidance to us. So those who declare on the day of Eid, the takbir, they are declaring the greatness of Allah because they are celebrating the fact that Allah guided them. Allah guided them. to Allah ala ma hadakum. Declaring the greatness of Allah upon the fact that Allah has guided you. Wow. Subhanallah Rabbil Alameen. Which means those who consider the day of Eid, a day where they will close the Quran, those are the ones who have lost. A day where they will bring back the beer bottles, those are the ones who have lost. A day where they will bring back the adultery, the pornography, the other sins they may have been committing, the gambling, the hatred, etc., etc. Those are the ones who have lost because Allah says those who declare the takbir truly deserve to celebrate on that day due to the fact that their lives have changed and they have achieved the guidance. My brothers, my sisters, within that month, there is one night which is more powerful than or more blessed than a thousand months. Surely from now we need to ask ourselves, if I want to succeed in life and every one of us would love to see success, I need to realize success in this lifetime is closely connected to the success of the hereafter. Subhanallah. Success and true success in this world is closely connected to your success in the hereafter. When you are bothered about what's going to happen to you after you're going to die, you will be able to prepare correctly and live a life of contentment. Unfortunately, many of us, may Allah forgive us and guide us, starting with myself, I mean. Many of us consider materialism a source of success when I can afford this car this house this watch this phone these accessories this perfume these holidays these clothes then I've succeeded that is temporary my brothers and sisters when your salary is a million dollars it does not mean you have succeeded holistically rather that success is very very limited it is only a portion, perhaps 5% of what we as believers would consider success. And for that reason, Allah's plan is always that those who have the world with them and the materialistic world with them are not necessarily the happiest. In fact, they are not from amongst the happy ones. Because happiness and contentment is achieved primarily by understanding Allah's plan. By understanding you have to worship Allah alone. You have to build a relationship with the one whom you're going to go back to one day helplessly. Helplessly. I'm going to go back to Allah the day 
يوم لا ينفع مال ولا بنون إلا من أتى الله بقلب سليم The day that your wealth and your children will not help except for the one who has قلب سليم A pure, a clean, a healthy heart that is free of sickness and ailment and disease and what is that ailment if anyone has worshipped or associated partners besides Allah with Allah they have faltered so my brothers and sisters we have a beautiful month of Ramadan let us seek the forgiveness of Allah now that's how we prepare for Ramadan and in Ramadan we will repeat it and we will continue repeating it when a Friday comes we repeat it when the time of the Hajjud comes we repeat it that's what I want to say today that your preparation for Ramadan is a commitment from now to say I've started it this is why the Prophet ﷺ in the month of Sha'ban he used to fast a lot a lot more than other months it was the run-up to Ramadan the softening mashallah we enter the masjid on a Friday we notice a lot of the brothers reading the Quran Walillahi alhamd may Allah accept it from us your duty unto that word and I started off mentioning a hadith that the best of speech is the speech of Allah the best of words are the words of Allah connect yourself to the words of Allah if you have a very successful businessman a really successful person on earth and there are so many names that spring to my mind right now about people who have achieved the millions and the billions and they have a story they've written about their lives many of us would know parts of that story what about Allah when Allah has told you that I have sent to you the most powerful message and that is my word many of us have not bothered to try to look into the meanings of the word of Allah and for that reason we sway from the left to the right from the right to the left and we are not connected to Allah the way we should be I promise you if you were to make an effort with the word of Allah Allah will come closer to you more than you can imagine the closer you get to the word of Allah the more the doors of contentment and happiness will open for you and that is a promise if you have problems on earth if you have difficulties with your health, with your wealth, with your social life, with your financial, economic life, pick up the Quran and start becoming close to the word of Allah. When you show dedication, you will notice the calmness in your heart, in your mind, in your system, and you will become happy with what Allah has apportioned for you. I remember a brother who complained regarding his...